Hello and welcome. Pause the video, try it on your own, and then when you're ready, resume it and we'll solve it together. All right, so it says uh, determine the number of solutions that exist to the equation below. In other words, try and solve for j, the variable, and see what happens. So I'm going to distribute the 8. 8 times j is 8j. Minus 4 times 8 is 32. 2 times 4j is 8j. And 2 times minus 16 is negative 32. And I see that I have something equal to itself. So I know the answer is infinite, right? The infinite amount of solutions. In other words, anything I plug in for j onto this side of the equation, and I have, it will also work on the other side because they are the same equations, same expressions, excuse me. Um, but I can go further. I can add 32 to both sides, right? And those 32s cancel out, and now it's even more obvious 8j equals itself. And if you're not convinced yet, subtract 8j from both sides and you get something that says 0 equals 0, and this is always true. This means there are infinite solutions. So if you end up with something that says 0 equals 0, or 2 equals 2, or 5 equals 5, um, this means there are infinite solutions. It always, it, these equations are always balanced for any number you plug into it. If you got something like 1 equals 2, which is never true, that means there are no solutions. Otherwise, you get, you, if you remember, you just solve for a variable. You get j equals 2 or j equals 3, which means there's one solution. All right, hope this helped.